Good morning traders. Welcome to your 7 minute market update. Today I believe is March 25th, 2013. I do apologize for not releasing a video this past weekend. I wasn't to be honest really planning on releasing a video. I really don't get very many views um, on these videos but um, I got a comment um, from uh, Favco and uh, you know if as long as one person appreciates the videos that I'm making then you know I'm gonna continue to try and make it um, so I'm gonna make this uh, video as quick as possible and then um, I'll start fresh again uh, this weekend um, and of course like as always if I'm gonna um, do if there's anything big that's gonna happen I'm definitely going to uh, mention it uh, during the week or within the week instead of just the weekend um, it's, it's pretty difficult for me because I do have a full-time job and other responsibilities but I will try to get these out as uh, as fast as I possibly can for you guys and anyways um, let's just do a quick review we started off over here and, and this is just gonna be a quick technical analysis review and let me kinda delete these um, lines here so it's easier to see delete all these here and this, this video here isn't being I'm not editing the video so uh, it, it, there's going to be a lot of pauses and stuff as my brain tries to think. In any case, um, all right, let's just start from the beginning here. We had this 149.51 mathematically calculated level. Um, and then we had this um, area here which indicated a uh, possible reversal. But um, the volume here wasn't uh, higher than the past three days, <clears throat> which is one of the rules that I had. Um, in this case, a short wouldn't have been taken uh, based on the uh, rules being so strict that I am on and that would have saved you and this is why it's so important to follow the rules and then your rules may be different from mine's but again you have to think the, think of this as a business and as a business you need your purchase orders you need your you know your um, uh, return on investments your your request for proposals and all those kind of documentation and paperwork and things like that that you need to have in place before you can move forward once you circumvent any of these things from happening uh, like a lot of the executives do at a lot of companies then these companies in question uh, tend to run into problems when um, there's auditing going on so in any case uh, we know that this 149.51 uh, was a, a substantial level we kept bouncing on it and then eventually we went um, close to the 154.10 level in which I told you guys because it got close um, that's good enough to say that it would not hold anymore as a resistance point and sure enough we come down and the 149.51 uh, validates a uh, support level and then we bounce up and pierce through the 155 uh, 154.10 level because again we were already close to it once we hit a level for you new, new timers once we hit any level, it doesn't mean have to be my mathematically calculated level. It can be a gap fill or gap window. It doesn't really matter. Um, once we come close to it or we actually hit it or we consolidate above or below it, then those levels no longer hold. And um, I'll make instructional videos later, but I think most of you who've been watching my videos understand what I'm talking about by now. Um, in any case, uh, we move up and then we get the intraday pullback here right on the 155.44 level, which is pretty much right on the money. And then we go all the way up and I was waiting for this 157 level. The 157 level didn't quite hit. It got up to 156.80, so it was about 20 cents off. But you can see how close these mathematical calculated levels can be. Uh, sometimes it's perfect and sometimes it's, you know, off. I, I would say that this is actually kind of off. Normally it's within 10 cents, so this one, this 20 cents is kind of off. But being that the 157 is already so close, just like this, then I wouldn't consider this as a substantial resistance point any longer. We come down right into the 154.10 level once again, and then we get a nice intraday bounce in between the 154 and 155.44 level. Okay, um, and we got another intraday bounce here at the 155.44 level. So you can see how these mathematically calculated levels are just working time and time again. We come back down, we pierce the 154.10 level right into the 20 moving average go back up come back down right into the 154.10 level again in fact the low of this kind if you look up here where you can see the low and then the high and the close okay the low of this candle was actually 154.10 so that was perfect to the to the penny I wouldn't have taken this trade anyway and then um, on Friday we pierced through the 155.44 again this 155.44 no longer is valid because we've been hitting it way too many times 
and then now today which is Monday and we just closed it's 10 14 a.m. my time right now um, and that is um, a close for us we are I'm in Hawaii right now doing this analysis so that is what that is what time the markets close for me all right so we go right into the 20 moving average again close to the 154.10 level um, we, and we kind of just play around within this uh, area here right into the 20 moving average and then we um, we get a small bounce closing at um, minus 65 cents at 154.95 so what does this all mean well let's just take a look at the bigger picture here we have this I mean we are definitely in an overextended area here today we had pretty substantial volume okay the volume was higher than past three three previous days now I don't normally play these um, patterns but I just might okay but just keep your eye on, on something that's very important here I can draw a trend line from here to here and this is being conservative now okay and then I could draw an upper trend line but that's not needed at this time right now for now I should say right now we're just cruising along here on the 20 moving average what does this look like let me just delete everything here so we can get a better picture of what's going on let me just draw a line like this okay what can you tell me what does this look like here now I'll just give you a second to think about this what does this look like to you this looks like a potential okay not guaranteed now obviously but it's a potential move consolidation pattern to the downside potential with all this federal government manipulation and all that this definitely could change because the trend is still going up but again this is a potential a possible potential trend change and why do I say trend change when there's nothing indicating here that the trend is changing well it's simple this month is March and March is a month out of the year of all years as everybody knows is when it's it's a t it's a turn date pretty much or a turn timetable of the year that the markets normally do a correction or some sort of correction okay so we are already know that and I've been saying in my past previous videos time and time again that the markets are looking weaker the markets are due for a correction or a pretty substantial pullback I've been saying that for quite often and I've been initiating short trades um, and getting stopped out of these short trades time and time again and my stop outs are however break even stop outs so I haven't gone long but then every time I go short I get stopped out break even so I haven't lost any money but I'm not even I'm not making money so here's the deal this is what I'm looking for now I got the bottom trend line okay we got this potential consolidation pattern uh, there is a possibility that if we get another up day, say tomorrow around here, or we go close to the 157 level, this is this is how it's simple. It's I'm gonna make it, and this is I'm gonna take a loss if it goes the wrong way. If we close above the high of this candle here, let me you know what? Let me delete all the drawings again one more time, just so it's easier to see. I'm gonna make the bottom trend line over here. Then we have this down move and then now we're consolidating okay if I if we have another up day okay because it looks like it's down up down up down possibly up again I may take another short trade okay possibly and my stop will be any close above this candle here okay this candle is the line in the sand all right this trend line here is also another line in the sand what I mean by that so let's just say I take a short trade here and the consolidation pattern does play out you guys know um, I don't play consolidation patterns normally but this one I might okay if we come down and we actually close below this bottom trend line here then that's it I think the market's going to start correcting at that point so that still has a long ways more to go to break down from this line um, will be at uh, probably below the 154 level we are gonna have support at this at this pivot point here so keep that in mind let's draw it here this will be a support level there okay so just keep that in mind 
but if we do get a close below this bottom trend line especially if we get a close below this guy here um, then I think we're heading down okay but if not and we get a close above this candle here and even better we validate that close by getting another candle that closes above this candle for example say we close here okay which is above here that already negates this this pattern in my opinion and then we close above it again then I think we're heading higher and I probably have to do another calculation to figure out how much higher above the 157 will will get but keep your eye on this area right here this bottom trend line we're also gonna have some support here at this gap gap window uh, gap fail and then this pivot point here will be some support if we break down there this is where we're headed all the way down to the 148 level okay and that and to be honest there is a possibility that we could all get all the way down here I don't think that the feds are gonna allow that remember we have we're playing with manipulated money or manipulated a manipulated market don't complain about it just be aware about it or aware of it because the markets have been being manipulated for a long time one thing I do like about today's action is this again I don't nor normally play uh, consolidation patterns but we did get volume okay confirming this move here but it's not a reversal move in my opinion I mean yes we did come up but it's not a solid up like if it was if this if these two candles here happened over here then that would have been a better picture for me but right now it just looks like consolidation and then we got higher volume here which could indicate that we could start heading lower okay now that's provided news doesn't come out and you know they try to do manipulation and stuff like that but if they do then I simply stop out if we get a close above that or I might even take a bigger loss if I decide to wait for a um, validation uh, which is another close for the next day keep in mind that they're gonna try and stop they're gonna try and stop out or sh what you call a short squeeze I'm not the only one that sees this pattern here so a lot of people are probably gonna start going short they're gonna try to short squeeze people meaning they're gonna pop the markets higher just initially just to stop out people who are short and that's why I normally sometimes wait for a validation day the next day even if it closes above here because a lot of people will stop out once it closes above this candle I wait one more day to see if that's a legitimate move or if that's just um, a manipulated market and a short squeeze in which case you should see the markets just uh, fall now markets don't go straight down or straight up okay, it's never like that you have pullbacks and you have bounces uh, just keep that in mind so that's the analysis for today again I do apologize for not releasing one this uh, past weekend but um, I'll try to keep up uh, you guys have a good rest of the week. Good luck. God bless to you all and I hope to see you in the next video.